Hello there, my name's Mr Brinkhurst, I'm Head of Languages at Chepstow School and I'm here to say to you, why wouldn't you consider taking French or Spanish at A-level? No matter what route you want to take, whether it's to do with science, maths, law, social care, business, languages are vitally important. The ability to be able to communicate with one another is becoming increasingly important for all employers. We're living in a much smaller global community than we ever have done and languages will sit at the heart of everything that we do. I feel that my team are best placed to really support you and to develop your language skills. Bonjour, my name is Miss Beach and I teach AS and A2 French, or as I like to call it, the sex, drugs and rock and roll. In AS French it's very different to GCSE and what you will be used to and we do explore sex, drugs and rock and roll and life in France for being a teenager and a young adult. We also look at a film which is centred around the Second World War and this links French in really handily to any other subjects you might be considering such as English or history or media studies. As we continue the course into uh, the second year for A2, we then start a novel. This is a novel that is based around the life of an immigrant young girl who is struggling to uh, find herself in the Parisian suburbs. We also explore the period of history during the occupation by the Germans and the post-war period in France. And again, it handily links into other subjects. So if we were looking at something to do with geography and the rebuilding of the economy, and also life in current day France. I studied French and Spanish at A-level and particularly enjoyed learning about culture. Studying languages has allowed me to go on to do a business degree with French at Cardiff University and now I'm doing a one-year placement with Deloitte in Switzerland where I get to use French as part of my daily routine. I decided to pursue languages in university, picking up Italian along the way and later teaching myself Norwegian. It is the skills I have picked up across GCSE and A-level but to be able to do this, opening the door to a master's degree that I will be studying in Norway after I complete my current degree.